Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and this video about Eversky Access and what does it mean for the end user, especially for the R9 Air users, is divided into two parts. The first part you are watching right now is called Facts and it's only about facts without me trying to give any commentary on it. And the second one, uh, the title is not decided yet, is about my feelings, commentaries and, uh, and other non-facts about the topic. So, let's begin. The facts. The facts are starting from the probably beginning of 2019. Eversky is trying to replace and unify the naming and the protocols, but not really protocols, of their offer on the radio systems. For years, Eversky was supporting something called ACCST, which was 2.4 GHz protocol, which was working just, just, just fine. Perfect, perfect, no problems, although it had to be made in the version for the European Union and the rest of the world, but okay, let's say it's, um, uh, it, it happens. Also, there was a separate um, naming for the Ranger 9, known to the masses as R9 system, which just was called R9, without any names, surnames and last names, uh, also in two versions as the EU L, not LGBT, LBT, listen before talk, and the FCC version. Also, last year, Eversky started to introduce the Flex uh, firmware for the R9, which was supposed to work both not being 100% legal everywhere. And it's fine. Mm, now, Eversky is trying to unify everything after the, under the common name Access. The Access is the different air protocol. This especially applies for the mm, 2.4 GHz series, uh, also using 2.4 GHz series. And the protocols and the hardware comparing between ACCST and the Access are slightly, slightly different. There are differences because the radio chip is different. What it means? It means that the hardware probably, at least probably, uh, because nobody knows the code and how it works internally, the hardware capable of running Access can also run ACCST, but the hardware running ACCST might not be able running Access. Now, this also means that for some of the Eversky receivers, 2.4 GHz, you can choose and get the access version or you can stay with ACCST. Currently the access version is available for, let me check, is for GRX6, nobody uses that I think, GRX8, whoever seen uh, at least in the uh, RC drone uh, part of the hobby this receiver and RXSR and some less less known. Everything, uh, those receivers can be used both ACCST and access. If you are, if you have something else than those two, you are st stuck with ACCST, which in theory offers slightly less functions and slightly less range. Because the hardware is different, let's say it's fine. Also, the radio, the module, the transmitter that supports access also can physically support ACCST, but it's not working on the other way. So if your radio is uh, capable of running access on 2.4 gigahertz, then it can run either access or ACCST. That means that if you have X uh, Taranis or QX7 or Horus or X9, X12, something like that, you are more or less st stuck with the ACCST protocol because your hardware, internally your hardware and the radio chipset is unable to go into access. At least this is, this is the theory. If, on the other hand, you have the newer generation of the radio with newer internal module, which is called uh, ISRM, which is incorporated in Xlite Pro, Xlite S, X10S Express, because 
about X10s I will talk more about in the commentary part of this video or you have uh, X9 Lite or you have X9D Plus 2019 edition then you can go with access if not ACCST 2.4 GHz everything is more or less fine you have new hardware you can choose between one and the other. You have old hardware, you have to stick with uh, the other, although your internally your hardware can be just switched to use either D16 or uh, access, access version of the 2.4. Just fine. I have no problems with that. Everything works super nice. Now, how does it look with the R9? Different. Originally, everybody thought that the current um, range of R9 receivers and transmitters will be able to receive the access version of the R9. It's not really, the protocol is really different, but at least naming unified and the new firmware will be released under the access name. That means at least originally, that all the R9, R9 Mini, R9 Slim, R9 MM and whatever we got the receivers, you will be able to flash them either Access or ACC, no, the, the original R9 Access, just non-Access. And if you had your e R9M or the small R9, I never remember, R9 Lite or something that, you will be able to use either access or non-access and everything will be great, fantastic, outstanding, because in theory the, the hardware is working. It turned out that it's not really the case. To run access version of the R9, you have to get yourself either R9M transmitter 2019 or R9 Lite that is already on the market uh, for some time now and it will not work on every single radio. I checked the new OpenTX 2.3, how it's supposed to support all the radios and the R9 access protocol. I also asked FRSky how it looks like on the R9 access support on all the radios. And the answers are, you can run R9 access only on the radios that can have 2.4 gigahertz access as well. That means if you have QX7, X9D Plus non-2019 or X10 or X12 or X9 or original X Lite, even though in theory the transmitter fits perfectly, you cannot use R9 access. Even though you have the transmitter module R9M 2019 installed, it's not enabled in the software. You ask why I make that very, very, very important and clear? Because the situation on the R9 system is different than on 2.4 system. The receivers or R9 and the transmitter R9M on the radio level and the installed CPU are the same for both non-access and access R9. The only thing that changed is probably, uh, I seen some pictures we were able to compare, the radio chipset is still the same, the CPU is the same. The things that changed is the internal communication between the transmitter module and the radio. The new R9M 2019 uses PXX2 and PXX2 allows to run access, while the non-2019 runs only PXX and does not allow, at least on the software level, to run access. That means that you cannot use access 
R9 axons on the radios that are not PXX2 enabled. And what enables the PXS2? Probably only the inverters. It's the same crap. Okay, I'm starting to comment. It's the same situation like with full speed crossfire or newer FR Sky radios. It's probably is the same situation. Probably the only thing that changed on the R9M, besides putting things in a slightly different places, is the inverters, input buffers. Also on the radio, there are different inverters slash output buffers. Only, only change. To sum things up, if you have R9 and you would like to receive the software updates in the future, you have to switch to access because non-access R9 firmware will probably never really be developed again. To enable R9 access or your R9 risk transmitter, you need a special R9M 2019 version and you need a radio that is access capable on the 2.4, which really has nothing with the error protocol. And the list is, it's either Xlite Pro, Xlite S, X10S Express, not the regular one, or it's the Taranis XD Plus 2019 or the X9 line, but this is this has different different bay. That means if in the future you would like to receive software updates for your R9, you have to update both the transmitter module and your radio. You will not be able, at least on the current situation, you will not be able to run R9 access on older radios, including the most popular X9D Plus Taranis and QX7. The facts are over. Now, if this is the first video you watched, then scroll back to the second video, the link in the description, where I will give my commentary about the whole situation. And if this is the second video, then feel free to comment, to type whatever you want. And uh, ciao!